and welcome to our next video. In this video, we're going to talk about serial data transmission. Serial data transmission simply means being able to send data or bits down a single wire. So we want to send zeros and ones down a wire so maybe we can communicate with another computer. The simplest network that you know of is simply to connect two computers together. And that's our goal in this upcoming lab. So before we do that lab, we have to understand some of the connectors and how some of this works. So here is an older cable system. This is called a serial cable and it's got an RS-232 connector on it. And if you can see, it has nine pins. And each of those has a specific function. We're not going to go look at all the pins. We're just going to look at the ones we really need for our lab. Specifically, let's take a look at the table on the right here. All the ones N, C means those pins are not going to be used. They're not connected. Pins we're going to use are pins 2, pins 3, and pins 5. Pin 2 is used for receiving. And in data communications, we use RX to represent something that is receiving. Pin 3 is going to be used to transmit. And TX is used to represent transmit. We're also going to use pin 5. And that's a ground pin. And we're going to use that because anytime we connect two systems electrically together, we should connect the grounds together so that both machines have the same ground potential. So it's important that we do that. So specifically, we are going to use pins 2, 3, and 5 to do this activity. First thing you're going to do is we're going to set up your computer and we're going to use a piece of software called Hyper Terminal. And basically what it does is it allows us to transmit and receive data. We're not going to look at that right now. We're just going to focus on the hardware. And basically I'm going to tell you how this is going to work. So before we can try to communicate with a, another computer, we want to make sure that our computer is working. So to do that, we're going to use something called a loopback test. And here's the way you set it up. Once you've got your computer set up, you've got your serial connector or serial cable connected to your computer, we're going to set up a loopback test. And what that means is pin 3 is the transmit pin and that's this pin right here. We've got pin 2 here and we've got pin 5 over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a connector wire. This is a female to female wire and I'm going to place it on pin 3. Now this is a fairly tight fit so you might have to push fairly hard to get it on. So basically it looks like that. So there we've got that connected to pin 3. And that's our transmit pin. Right now, if I tried to transmit out, well, it goes to a open circuit. So it wouldn't be able to transmit to anything. But if I take this end and I connect it to pin 2, well, that's my receive pin. So that's right beside pin th 3. So if I push it on carefully and try to push it nice and tight. There. Now I've got a loopback connection. So now data can go out pin 3 and it will loop back and be received in pin 2. So in other words, whatever data I'm transmitting on my computer, it will actually be fed back and I can be see it being coming back in and I can read it with my program called Hyper Terminal. So first thing, we need to set up our computer take out the serial cable and we're going to do a loopback test. Once that's working, now we know that our system's working and we can try to communicate with another computer. So our lab partners across from us. So here's the way that we can do that. So we know that pin 3 is the transmit pin. So if I connect it on one connector 
and I take my partner's cable and they hand me their end I know that I'm transmitting from pin 3 so they're going to be receiving on pin 2 so they're going to take this white cable and connect it to pin 2 like so then what we're going to do is we're going to take their pin 3 which is their transmit pin and they're going to connect that to this receive pin so pin 2 then we'll also connect the grounds together we're going to connect pin 5 to pin 5 so if I was to draw this out here's our first computer here's our second computer and the connector for each so pin 3 is the transmit pin for this computer computer 1 it's going to be connected to the receive pin on the other computer then I'm going to take and put a connector between the transmit pin of computer 2 and it's going to be received by pin 2 on that computer and as we mentioned we should always connect our grounds together so you're going to take another cable and connect pin 5 to pin 5 There. So now you understand how we are going to use serial cables and RS-232 connectors in an upcoming lab, how we can connect two computers together and try to communicate. So that's it for this video, everyone. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.